This is Bloons CD6, but everything is in reverse. This video idea was brought to you by a commenter Ram, who suggested to do reverse on extra mat with upgrades that push the boons back, and they noted all the upgrades over there. So overall, here are the upgrades that we have enabled for this challenge. We got Psy, we've got Mob Domination, we've got the Downdraft and the Mob Shove, Buckshot all the way up to BEZ, Knockback on the Super Monkey, Distraction on the Ninja Monkey, Super Storm Druids, and of course, who could forget the new bottom path Beast Hander, the Pokai, which can basically move anything back, as many balloons back as you can imagine. So yeah, challenge accepted. We're gonna do an extra map Infernal. I know, probably the easiest extra map of them all, but still nonetheless counts as an extra map. But on top of that, you see, we also have 140 round set, so I'm gonna try to see how far I can make it. Maybe 140 rounds is a bit bold, but we'll see. Again, we have some pretty solid options. You might notice that I also enabled maybe a couple extra upgrades that uh, are further past than the reverse upgraded stuff. Like, for example, the special operations is enabled. Any Super Monkey, 5 and 5 I've enabled. Just because I think that would make the challenge more interesting, because if I just left it as, well, only tier 1 supers, then I'm pretty much never going to use it. Also, gonna go ahead and drop Psy over here. Just because I want to leave the middle spots, probably for Super Monkeys. And yeah, as the commenter mentioned earlier, there is the choice of either Psy, for the knockback on the level 10 ability. For those who don't know, it's a 50-50 chance with the level 10 ability, whether or not uh, Psy will knock a balloon back or shake it to death. However, Psy kind of loses that knockback effect level 20 because uh, the 50-50 it now turns into just destroys everything completely with the ability. So yeah. For Geraldo, there's also only really creepy idol. So yeah, it might be a bit of a stretch in general to allow a hero that barely has much of a knockback effect, if at all, but... You know, if we're trying to go 140 rounds here, then I'll need every little bit of help I can get. Anyways, as you can see, I can afford a Super Monkey already. Now the question is, what I want in the top or the bottom one? Well, I'll try top first. I think with Knockback and Ultra Vision, you get a little bit of range, so the hope is to be able to snipe the bottom side. And I think it already does attack on the bottom side, which is good. But yeah, now that I got Super Monkey, next on the list is probably to upgrade this thing to at least Buck Shot, because again, with the reverse or with these theme challenges in general, I must get at least that theme upgrade. It wouldn't be it. Makes sense if I only got a 0, 0, 0 so... I have to fill the quota of getting an 0-2-3 at some point anyways. Might as well do it now. I also should mention that this is my second time uh, doing this challenge. The first time I did it, you actually won't see it because I did it before the Beast Handler got released, and the video didn't come up by then, so... I figured I had to... had to do it because not only does the Beast Handler exist now, but the Dark Champion changed to that well, if you didn't see it, then check the video if I did it out recently. But I'll just have you know that it is a lot stronger now. Which is why, again, we're going deep. And yeah, just by beating 60 rounds here, we will have already done the Commander's Challenge. Because Reverse is only 60 rounds and some medium prices. For those who are not seeing, these are hard prices. So what can I say? I just like to give myself a very hard time. Now, for round 40, I actually should have put my first room monkey in the bottom because, uh, Moab. But I will see if I can get out of this somehow. Uh, I'll stun it so that Super Monkey gets as many shots as possible. And then hopefully Sai can just shake all the SRAMs underneath. Okay, one SRAM left. Should be fine here. Nice, nice. I'll go ahead and get 202 because uh, you know I'm going to get that anyways. And I... If I am thinking about late game here, I'd skip Sun Avatars. Because yeah, now that a Dark Champion got price reduction and is a lot stronger... And the Dark Shift ability too, which is going to be very important because, you know, two different lanes. Although I guess when I get Polkai, whenever I get it, I probably will at some point. But yeah, whenever I get it, I can basically turn this two lane map into a one lane map. So I guess I can just focus all my damage towers on one side. That would probably be the bottom because size already here. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, I guess. But there's Dark Knight and I'd like to save for Dark Champion whenever possible. But obviously, I can't do that with only these towers. So yeah, let me see here. I guess probably a second Dark Knight wouldn't be too shabby, but I still don't think that's strong enough. I'll still get it anyways, though. So uh, here it is. Uh, and at this point, I could probably afford uh, my first Dark Champion if I don't need to sell anything by like round 80, 80 plus. Also, some bad news. If I'm seeing this properly, the Dark Knight actually can't see the top side, like for balloons. It, it, it can't mobs, of course, because they have a bigger hitbox. But yeah, I think next round we might have a couple issues here. So I guess I'll... Try to use size abilities accordingly. So watch this. Uh, does this okay, level 3 doesn't even reach. Also, never mind, it does reach. Let's just see if we have enough pierce for two Dark Knights here. Pretty close, but we're good. 
And then I can just save level 10 ability for any Saram wave that I die to. But wave 3 is actually bigger by 2 Sarams for those out of the know. So this should actually be just fine. Again, proof that Infernal isn't really an extra map. It's just so long. That's what she said. Okay, this round might be a scary one because I need to save the level 10 ability for round 76. Because I'm pretty sure I died to a Rio Farm. So I need to just pop all the balloons here. And then I think there's just too many of them. Uh, one more try here. I'll put Cyan first. Possibly to help. And uh, okay, 12 lives lost. I bet we probably die to this part here. Yay or nay? Yay. Well, not yay. I guess it's time then. We'll try at least one giant condor because I heard those are pretty good. And yeah, since Sai is on the bottom side, it's better to set the reticle down here so that I, well, am able to actually stun the balloons better. So let's see in action. There we go. I'm moving the BFBs back down here so that I can... Let's see when I want to use Sai stun. Uh, how about when they pop to Moabs? Wait for it, wait for it. Now. That's a lot of balloons. And we should be good here now. We're actually not. Right, the giant condor doesn't really actually add extra, extra damage. Okay, let's just try the condor, but it pushing balloons back on the same lane. The problem, though, is that this clumps all the BFP, so I'm pretty sure this makes things worse. Or does it actually? No, I think it, I think it's actually doing better because Sai gets more time if we only pop one BFP at a time. Because they can already shake mobs at this point. Oh, actually, never mind. There's a glitch. I forgot. And the one child glitch where the Condor only leaves one Moab under a BFB. So yeah, never mind. Also, just level 10 here. I will just keep it simple. And with this glitch, I am pretty sure we can make it to Dark Champion pretty easily. I know how far I've fallen abusing glitches in a theme challenge. But I mean, if I want to use a giant Condor normally, then there's nothing I can do. I'm forced to use the glitch. Now, the problem with ZMG rounds is that it gets out of range, out of range of the Condor once it pops, so... Uh, guess I'll probably use a side ability for this round. Should I just level 10 here? Yeah, I'll just level 10. There's the knockback. Blowback coming in handy. See, guys, I'm actually using reverse, and also... Uh, 81 here is too many BFBs for the Condor to handle. This might be another level 10 round. Uh, yep, yeah, let's use level 10. That was about to leak. Still not sure it's actually going to be... Enough, though. No, nah, actually, it is. Once it's down to, like, 4 BFBs, the Condor can take care of the rest. Thanks, Bug. Also, I guess we're gonna go ahead and turn 82 into an odd round. Now that we're putting everything back up here. Yeah, it looks like Condor can solve this round. Very epic. Lots of mobs here probably means level 10 is not is an easy choice. And I can afford it mid-round. Once I can afford the Dark Champion, it's game over for the blue. And so $500 to go, come on. There it is. I actually don't know if I should upgrade this one to Dark Champion, but it doesn't really matter. I can do some Dark Shift shenanigans if it doesn't end up working. And actually, this is probably a better spot, at least for around 100. Because, yeah, I would need as much firepower as possible to focus down in the bad, because the Condor doesn't really do much damage. I think, I'm pretty sure Dark Champion does better, uh, bad damage than a max Polkai. But, of course, if I want to make everything but a bad easy, I'll end up getting a Polkai, so I guess we'll see for that next. And also, I'll go ahead and change the reticle down to the bottom, now that our main firepower is in the bottom here with the Dark Champion. Also, fitting, I think, seven total beast handlers for a Polkai is going to be annoying because there's not really much space on this map. Also, let me just go ahead and get Buckshot so we can say, I got the knockback. We'll get rid of it for more beast space. The reason why I say space is a problem because I still want to leave these left spots open and these right spots in case I want a dark shift because I probably need that for, you know, maximizing bad damage. So right now, after this fourth one, uh, I guess we'll just merge everything and then start saving for the Polkai. In the meantime, Dark Champion plus Sai should be able to solve 98. In fact, we'll probably just use level 10 ability. And you know what? I will. 99 is going to be easy, regardless. So good my 98. You have been shook. Uh, maybe I lied that 99 was super easy. Because again, it's on the top side. So Dark Champion didn't get the uh, full damage. But anyways, we'll see if I need a Dark Shift this round. Or does the new and improved Dark Champion do enough bad damage? Seems like the answer is... Uh, not quite. So again, the play here is to dark shift to the right side. Move it back to the middle. Something like this, and then we have enough for the, the left side. And that should be enough damage, right? Uh, it's probably gonna pop last minute, so... I gotta get ready to level 10 Psy. Because I don't think we're catching these DDTs here, are we? Waiting, there it is. And that's 100 rounds, but the job's not done. 40 rounds to go, and... I will dark shift back here for 101. 
Yeah, the Dark Champion projectiles bouncing is gonna be huge in this map because there's not really many straightaways, especially when Balloon started turning the Kurova. If not for that buff, it would have been losing a lot of DPS. And we're actually so close to Polkai. Uh, this is definitely a level 10 round or level 20. Again, as you can see, no more knockback, so... Yeah, Sai's kind of cheesing this reverse challenge here. But what can I do? And looks like we got Polkai, so uh, we are saved, folks. We are saved. Uh, I guess the next Polkai spots would be uh, probably on the island where Sai is and on the top left. Because as you see, uh, there is uh, not a lot of intel space. So absolutely going to get one over here. But the thing is, if I put any b center in this pond, I'm not able to dark shift on the top left corner anymore, which I might need for 119. Again, the bads will spawn top side. So let me see what I can do here. I do see one beast hammer spot here. I'm just going to test. If I can dark shift over here. Yes, yeah, there's plenty of space. Okay, cool. So we can just do one on each side. One extra on each side. And that'll max me out at 132 out of 132. Just to test. Yep, it works. So yeah, again, the bug with the Polkai will make every round up to 140 minus bads very trivial. Especially now that we got a max one. So prepare to watch every balloon not get anywhere for the next uh, five rounds here. Very fair and balanced tower, folks. Even for DT rounds, like, is the bug isn't really prevailing there, because one Saram versus four Sarams, not going to notice it very much, but I can still knock, like, push all of them back. So yeah, nice and easy. Also, I messed up. The Dark Knight, uh, I can't Dark Shift this one, because I don't have Dark Champion on it yet, so I, I might need to sell it for the sake of getting this guy better radius, better coverage. In advance, though, let's move it to the top right to at least clip some damage. And yeah, as you can see, Polkai damage sucks because I also don't have uh, intel for the Beast Handler. Maybe I should have kept it not max so that I could buy like a, a quick makeshift 001, if you know what I mean. Yeah, in fact, maybe the play was not to get the Polkai at all so that I can just focus more on bad damage because that's kind of rough. Because yeah, let me just try this again. I sold the Dark Knight and I just bought a new Dark Knight over here. I still think the damage isn't going to make it. Polkai is decent damage, but definitely not enough, right? Yeah, that's a big oof right there. I don't even know if two Dark, dark Champions it would have, end up working. Yeah, I can't afford Legend Knight. Money's not there. Uh, here's what I'll unfortunately have to do. Sell, sell, sell. Three of them for two Dark Champions. Dark Shift this one to the right side. And yeah, in the meantime, let me quickly get a 001 to merge it so I have a little bit of intel here. And then I'll Dark Shift this one to the left side once it's able to start attacking. And again, if this isn't enough, then I'm pretty much out of options, unfortunately. I'm not sure what other tower here would give me a lot of bad damage. There is the Grand Saba, which I did enable, though, although maybe I shouldn't have because Distraction's the tier 1. But yeah, even with the new bouncing effect, it's not enough because the bats are just too spaced apart. Yeah, that might be a rip, folks. So part of me actually wonders if going for three Dark Champions might have been better. As you see, I'm 13, I'm 12k short. If I didn't buy any Polkais, I probably could save 12k from not losing money from power selling. So here's what I'll do. Uh, speed run. A few moments later. So, strategy is pretty much the same for the first 100 rounds. Uh, I still have to go for the Giant Condor to save her Dark Champion. But yeah, this time instead of Polkai, we're just doing two Dark Champions. And yeah, this will probably make round 100 to 120 a bit easier. But we gotta do it just for the chance of uh, possibly beating 119. We will see though. Yeah, this is bad. Yikes. Two Dark Champions actually get Pierce capped pretty quickly. Yeah, this is actually doing way worse than I thought. This might be a GG if I don't have level, level 10 Psy up. I'm using a stun to try to delay level 10, but yikes. We'll try this again with maybe a little bit of dark shifting, but this looks still very bleak. But we gotta give it a try at least. So dark shift and it dies instantly. Well, that's kind of a yikes. So I'm just gonna do one quick sample test here just to see even if I did get dark, three dark champions to make it to 119. Would it even have been enough to beat three bats? Because right now it looks like no. I know they're not in reverse, but this still does not look very good at all. Yeah, no matter what we do, there's not enough firepower to beat this. Now, before I call it quits for real, I just want to give this one more try with the following strategy. So let me just beat 118 here. I'm going to sell the Polkai for, again, two Dark Champions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some anti bloom Bower Cells, because I do have that enabled technically as like an 052. So if all three bads are like close enough in, in vicinity, I can pull off the following. Watch this. Uh, probably not very many of these, but one, two. Yeah, I can use two anti-boon abilities, guys. Not gonna lie, though, that gets me pretty close to uh, popping it. At least the first one. Okay, what if I did the following? 052 in this guy. Dark shift. 
chart right corner and play again. And what I'll do here is I'll even keep the anti balloon around for a little bit. It's actually really close to flopping. Hang on. Uh, I might have this. Wait for an, an ability. Uh, level 10. And start selling. Uh, I can't afford too many more. There. Oh, do you see how close that is? Two out of three with the third one. Almost about to die. I actually think this is possible, guys. Fair and doable. This will likely handicap me for the up point rounds, but uh, worth, honestly. So again, level 10. And that. And we'll do a virus cell now. Uh, this. If you're gonna afford one more of these, then we're golden. $200, wow. Another ability? Oh, the only problem is that I don't have a level 10. For, uh, well, when this bad pops. Oh. So I guess what I gotta do here is I can't use level 10 side for the first bad. I gotta be inside somehow, but yeah. Could you believe that this actually might be doable? And not only that, but with like 100, $200 to spare. That's pretty nutty. So I think I just gotta get more damage on the first bat here before using the ability. So that's probably good. Switch this on close. And level 10 now. Uh, I got mobs. I gotta do a little bit more so they fully die. So now, beautiful and pause. I think I gotta do a bit more damage first and then sell. So wait for it. Uh, I'll sell both now. And this has to one shot the insides here. Beautiful. Actually, crap, there's one. Nope, never mind. Sai got it. Sai shook the ZMG and I actually don't need to use level 10 abilities at all. Wow. That was uh, as tight as it possibly can be. Now, for around 120, <laughs> I've got a really bad spot for my Anna Bloom, don't I? Yeah, let's see if this can somehow still work, though. Nope. Note that I still got my knockback because that has to get a reverse upgrade somehow. So, level 10 now. Can I make some money, please? Uh, got it, but a little bit late. Uh, let me try the following then. I'll have Sai on first. Uh, I'll use Psy ability here, last minute. Try to afford knockback mid-round if possible. While starting to stall. Got it. And if it leaks, I can take that once ram. But now that I got the Anaboon, I can technically sell at any point, so yeah. I think that's what we'll do. Where were you when every single dollar matter for this challenge? So, let's use Anaboon. Wait for it, wait for it. Uh, I'll do it for all the FMOPs here. Yep. Uh, sell. I'd love to just get a Polkai straight up. Let me just spam a bunch of condors to try to knock them back. So there it is, uh, four condors. I'd love to try to just... Yeah, let's start merging now. Hang on, hang on. Quickly. Get the Polkai. And then I have level 10 to just destroy the rest of uh, the round here. Polkai. And uh, level 10. Level... Yeah, level 10. And again, now that we got the bug Polkai, I can make it all the way to 140. Again, all I had to do was beat the one hardest round of this challenge and... We can go so much further. Tightest thing I've experienced since, uh... I uh, probably shouldn't say it, but anyways. We should now get the uh, max Polokai. If anything does get the past Polokai like this, I'll just go ahead and use level 10 Sai. Right now, it's not at max, so that's why it's probably leaking a little bit. In fact, it's leaking... Uh, it's actually leaking quite a bit for it being, uh, again, a bugged tower. Crap. Uh, well, this isn't good, guys. I might have mess this up here and this might be a gg i guess the only thing i could do is what i did before is just move the reticle if yeah i, I want to limit the travel distance but that's still pretty rough like yeah left to right here is perfect but when it chases like that that's when i got problems so again over here i have changed size targeting to first so maybe that helps a little bit and i think it is but we're probably still dead how many mobs are even on this round. Far too many, I gotta think, but it's actually kind of working. Is that the end of the mo- No, they're still coming out. But that's fine, again. Level 10 is up, so I'll use it the moment this wave ends. And I think with that, crisis averted. I don't even think I need to- Yeah, I don't need, even need to use level 10 here. Yeah, close call, but we stay, stay alive. And I lost some lives somehow, but uh, I'll take it. This round's looking very leaky, but again, I'm gonna try to save off from using level 10 because this- it's probably going to bite me in the butt at some point. Very important to have that ability up for the starter rounds. We're just one condor away now from maxing the bird. But yeah, you would think the rounds are easier with the Polokai, but it's actually not. Um, this actually might be the end because there's just too many DTs. Give it a couple tries here, but yeah, Infernal, even though it's easy, it's no logs. I can't simply survive this many DTs. I'll try 
But they're too fast for the bird, I think. We got a nice pattern right now, but they're still coming out, and... So I can't shake enough of them, so I guess that's it. 126 rounds with only things going backwards on extra map. I gotta say, that's pretty solid. If you have any other interesting ideas for theme challenges, then maybe drop a comment, and maybe you can be featured in a future video. See you guys later.